The famous Silverstone Grand Prix circuit recently welcomed the Audi RS6, the German manufacturer's most powerful road car to date, for a high-speed workout. The RS6 boasts an incredible 580 brake horsepower and can do 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds. With a pedigree that owes much of its technical specification to the advances made by Audi's motorsport department, it was fitting that on this occasion it was 2008 Le Mans winner Alain McNish who took the RS6 out for a flying lap around Silverstone. The new RS6 is a unbelievable bit of kit. It's the fastest uh, Audi they've produced to date. Uh, it's a 5.2 litre twin turbo, produces about 580 horsepower and uh, it's an estate car. At the end of the day, you know, it's just one of the best sort of versatile machines that you can have because you've got all this power that's harnessed in something that you can use every single day. And as we can see, we're doing 140 miles an hour here now, just quick acceleration. Uh, and it picks up and goes, does everything you want it to do. And what's it like driving in something like this around a great circuit like Silverstone compared to something like your R10 TDI? Is it a very different experience? Well, the principles are exactly the same. The principles of driving doesn't change. Um, you've got the paddle shift gearbox in this car as well. So everything is at your fingertips. You've got the response and the throttle. Uh, you've got the very, very good braking and you've got the stability. However, this is a road car and that's, the, that's where the big shift comes, is that in our racing car it's purpose built just purely for this environment uh, and you couldn't take it down to Tesco's, whereas with this one you can. And how much technology makes it from the racing cars, the R10s and the DTM A4s, into the road cars? Well, an increasing number of uh, components are used between the two nowadays and uh, we're, we've pioneered the diesel technology in uh, the R10 TDI and that's something that uh, with the high pressure injections of uh, the diesel that we've been able to transmit straight through onto the road cars and so from 2006 when we started with that technology uh, the road cars have seen a tremendous direct benefit just as it did with Quattro before in rallying and also uh, with FSI direct injection uh, for the Le Mans victories in the, uh, from 2003 onwards. It's an amazing bit of kit, the RS6. It, uh, first of all, I think centres around about the engine. You know, with a V10 V10 5.2 litre that produces 580 horsepower, it's absolutely fantastic. So when you touch the throttle, the response is instant, but it just keeps on pushing and pushing and pushing. And here at Silverstone, coming out to the Beckett's Corner, we're doing about 75 miles per hour, which is already above the national speed limit, so it shows that the chassis is good. But then at the end of the straight, going down into Stowe, we're at 150. 50 miles per hour, it had doubled the speed in just a short period of time. There is more and more technology coming from our racing programs into the road car. Obviously this RS6 has got Quattro on it, that was something that probably was the start of that mentality from Audi, uh, because they developed Quattro in rallying and now it's pretty much in all of their high performance cars. And then as well it's got the direct injection uh, from FSI and we are now pioneering the diesel technology with TDI and there's a lot of that into the road cars. And so, you know, I can really see a direct link of what I race on the Sunday and what I drive on the Monday. And uh, that's something that I think uh, sports car racing is excellent for because there's no other formula that allows you to have that one-to-one -one link with the circuit and the road. Quattro have done a fantastic uh, thing here with this car because it has got the capability to go fantastically quick in all situations, whether it be on the road, whether it be on a racing circuit, or whether you actually just want to go down to the shops and you put everything in the back and drive on home again. It's uh, the, probably one of the most versatile cars that I've been in ever. And uh, it's just got one of the best sounding engines as well, that throb that just comes out for it, just uh, it oozes excitement.